Hey guys, I'm Micah here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue this uh, cloud computing series. And today I'm going to show you how to install an application in the cloud. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the content. So let's get to it. In the previous videos, I've showed you how to set up a computer in the cloud, put it within a network, but now you actually have to do some work in the cloud. So why don't we install an application? And to demonstrate that, I'm gonna show you how to install Splunk in the cloud. Now, for those of you who don't know, Splunk is like a log management tool. You can upload or ingest data into Splunk and analyze the data, search through the data, get alerts on the data, visual, get some visualizations on the data. So it's actually a very useful monitoring tool and alert tool that's used in the industry. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to install Splunk on a Linux machine on AWS and on a Microsoft machine on Google Cloud. Okay, as always, I'm gonna start off with AWS. I'm going to install Splunk on an EC2 instance in AWS. An EC2 instance, remember, is just a computer in the cloud. So I've already shown you how to create an EC2 instance in previous videos, so I'm not gonna go through that again today, but just know that, uh, and I've created a Linux instance in AWS right now. And that's what you see right here, and that's the IP address of my Linux instance. I'm going to SSH into my Linux instance using PuTTY. I'll probably do another video to really give you an overview of PuTTY, but all you need to know is it is a terminal emulator that supports SSH, uh, SCP, Telnet, things like that. And I'm going to use it to log in to this Linux machine in AWS. So first thing, I got to type in the IP address, which I can see down here. 3.92.53. Then I enter the key pair. And then I open. I log in, my username. And now I am logged in to this Linux computer that I created. I'm logged into this EC2 instance, which is located somewhere in an AWS data center. So the next step is to install Splunk. Right now, let me see what's in here. Nothing. All right. So let's install Splunk. So go over to Splunk.com. Go to free Splunk. If you don't have an account already, enter your information here. I already have one, so I'm going to go to login. So I'm logged into Splunk. I'm going to download Splunk Enterprise. I'm going to download a Linux version of Splunk Enterprise. When you hit download, you'll be taken to the screen. You're downloading Splunk Enterprise 7.2.3 for Linux. And there's actually a very quick way to do it directly in the cloud. You come over here to download via command line, click on this button, you'll see some code here. Copy this code, copy the entire code. And then you just come back to your AWS instance, which I logged into, and paste it in there. And now I'm downloading Splunk directly into the Linux computer. Now, if I come back and I do a list, you can see the file that I just downloaded from Splunk. Now, let us install it. And to install, we just untar this file by doing this command, xvzf, and paste in the file. Let's get the whole file name here. All right. Hit enter. Now we're untarring the file. So the next thing you need to do is start Splunk. Now I've actually run this command before. So there's a few things that are not showing up for me that will probably show up for you if you're running it for the first time. You'll probably be asked to agree to the terms of the agreement. So you just click yes if you see that. And then you'll be prompted to enter an admin password and a username and you just enter that information once you turn on splunk you will get the following message waiting for the web server so what you're going to do is you're going to go to a web browser paste in your ip address the ip address for that ec2 instance the ip address for that ec2 instance and the port 8000 and it will bring you to your splunk instance which you have installed on your linux computer 
So I'm just going to log in using the password that I entered during the installation period. And that's it. I have installed Splunk on my Linux computer. I'm going to do the same thing in Google Cloud, but I'm going to do that on a different video. And this time I'm going to install Splunk on a Windows compute instance on Google Cloud. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.